Good morning, Aries. This is going to be your video. Sorry, it looks a little blurry. Lately, my cameras just look blurry. I think I need to upgrade on my computer, so bear with me. All right. So I'm using my mermaid deck um, this morning. That one is coming out. And... What has been going on with you, Aries? This one's yelling at me. <clears throat> All right, and I am going to draw one of my Love Your Inner Goddess cards. And that one is yelling at me. So the first card that we have is Knight of Wands activity. And basically the energy that I'm getting with this is um, kind of this um, energy of staying busy. Um, a lot of times when we don't want to deal with things, we don't want to deal with emotions, we don't want to deal with feelings, situations, we stay busy. Um, or we lose ourselves in something. And this can be um, a substance. This can be overworking. <clears throat> Sorry, there's a glare. This can be overworking. This can be um, <clears throat> whatever things that distract you. Um, you've been very distracted and you've been doing this intentionally. Um, and so you're really being asked to take a look at this because it's really time for you to stop and pause, um, be still. Um, go within and really deal with um, the issues at hand. We have woman holding a heart. Both of these are feminine cards and we have appreciation. <clears throat> so the feminine energy in this reading is feeling um, underappreciated, is feeling um, taking for granted. Um, and you could be um, a masculine energy watching this. You could be um, a female who is more in her masculine energy. I know I tend to be. Um, but the feminine energy 
in, in this particular reading is feeling not appreciated, is feeling uh, taken for granted, um, feeling like uh, her needs are not being met, um, and not speaking up about them. Um, you could be dealing with um, a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, really not knowing how to express the feelings. Um, and maybe this is coming out as, you know, anger, animosity. All right, we have uh, with this woman holding a, holding her heart. Um, it's like her heart is, you know, on her sleeve. Um, and just because she's acting like, maybe acting like she doesn't care, and she does, um, like I said, a lot of times um, emotions come up as anger, as kind of pent up frustration, um, especially when um, the person is really staying busy to not focus on them. Like I said, this can be you. Um, this can be another person. Do take whatever resonates. But really um, pause, really um, notice what's going on. Um, there's more going on than what meets the eye. <clears throat> We have lots of endings that have come up in this particular reading. Um, so I do feel like, you know, you're dealing with the end of a, a relationship. That is really what it seems like here, um, because this is in the physical realm. Um, we have, cause we have death, we have transformation. Um, and like I said, I feel like with this situation, um, it really was um, based on the, the ending was caused by a lot of misunderstandings. Um, the two of you um, did not know how to express yourselves to one another. You did not know how to communicate. Um, and, and this stems from um, really being stuck in these patterns um, that I feel like came from childhood, from um, childhood wounds. Um, child, something that you learned during childhood, ways that you learned how to move. Um, and like I said, it just kind of came to a head. And we have wealthy man. Um, and so basically with this card, um, this is, a, you know, this is a masculine energy. And so um, with this masculine energy, there was a real focus on wealth. Um, and that could be this activity card of staying busy. Um, maybe, you know, overworking, not having enough time for each other, um, you know, in, in pursuit of wealth and success. Um, you know, this was kind of the focus and this is where the energy went. And so then I feel like as a result of that, um, that is where this um, death and this this kind of this um, ending came in at. Um, and I'm not taking away from this. I'm just saying that um, you know, there was an imbalance. <clears throat> All right, we have the Ten of Cups completion. Um, and so, um, and I'm going to go ahead and skip over here um, real quick because we also have the Ten of Swords endings. Well, this is what I was talking about, endings. Um, and I'll come back to that card, but I just did want to, you know, pull that one up here because we do have, um, you know, we have the death, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords. So um, there are endings. And like I said, I do feel like this has to do with um, your romantic life, with your love life. Um, this is the end of a relationship. Now, is it the end end? I can't tell you that. I know that um, some healing needs to take place um, because we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <clears throat> um, so I'm picking up on one of two things here. Maybe um, these were cycles picked up in childhood. You know, um, maybe you saw... Uh, your parents kind of in this toxic connection of maybe your father was a player, maybe your mother was a player and, you know, they kind of had other, um, <clears throat> other partners or, um, there was this over, overworking the father's end, um, where the father had to, you know, be the provider. And this was really the focus. <clears throat> But, but whatever the family issues are, this is really what caused the rift. And so you're really being asked to look at um, these patterns that you took on as a child and how, um, 
they're affecting you today um, with your particular relationships. All right, so we have the full new beginning. So we do have lots of endings, but we do have a new beginning too. And this new beginning could be a new partner, um, a new maybe you've met somebody new, or maybe you've decided to travel journey alone for a while so that you can kind of work on yourself. Either way, I mean, either way is perfect. Um, <clears throat> lots of endings, this new beginning. Um, and this is a higher vibration. I feel like um, you have really learned a lot about love, a lot of um, about self-love, a lot about yourself. Um, and this has really raised your vibration and really set you up um, to be in a higher vibrational connection with someone else or with yourself, with your newfound self-love and self-awareness. And that is perfect. The Golden Unicorn, Protector, Guardian, and Champion. <clears throat> so this is um, really connecting to yourself on a really deep soul level. Um, there is a magical element um, with this card, a spiritual element, um, a fifth, dimension, fifth dimensional element, um, really leaving the 4D, the 4D of fear, and um, entering into this fifth dimension of um love of unconditional love and there's only unconditional love conditional love doesn't exist there's fear and then there's love um so yes um definitely and, and this dive here could be you know this dive um into deeper things um you know opening up your chakras opening up your heart chakra um and like i said uh, journeying alone connecting to um, your spirit, you know, your spirit guides, your divine team. If you haven't done this before, um, this is going to happen if it isn't happening already. All right, we have three of pentacles recognition. Um, be real careful um, about um, worrying about who is wrong and who is right as far as what happened here. Um, because it doesn't matter. You both um, came together to teach each other, to um, show each other, to help each other grow, and that is perfect. Um, and it does not have to be about who is wrong and who is right. <clears throat> Really accept um, everything um, that has happened so far without judgment. Stop judging it. Stop analyzing it. Um, stop coming from at it from a place of your mind. All right, we have redemption, absolution, forgiveness, and pen and penance. So um, <clears throat> maybe you do have feel like you have some blame to do with this. Um, or maybe, you know, because this, this forgiveness card, this has to do with, you know, either forgiving yourself for some of you. Um, maybe you're having a hard time forgiving yourself. Maybe you feel like you messed things up. Or maybe this other person did. Um, or you feel like they did and you're having a hard time forgiving. Um, and so that kind of goes back to this card about not placing blame. And not trying to figure out who was wrong and who was right. Um, really just being in this place of acceptance um, that everything was divinely guided and everything happened just like it was supposed to. Um, so make sure that, you know, you aren't, um, sorry, there's my clock. I always try to do these in between the hour because my clock goes off in the hour, so I apologize. Okay, so make sure that you aren't um, doing things to um, try to get this um, redemption or this absolution, um, you know, feeling like, um, almost feeling like it's karmic. Um, 
this fear that this is going to come back on you, especially if you were the one who um, had the transgressions or um, feel like you had transgressions. You really need to forgive yourself and transmute the situation and how you do that. Um, like I said, is that, you know, this situation was divinely guided. Um, you both taught each other a lot of things. Um, this person and you are going to be um, kind of in a better place because of it. That is the message that I'm getting with this. All right, so we have, you know, this Ten of Swords endings that I was talking about. Um, and I feel like insecurities were played a big part of this, of um, maybe feeling like you were not enough um, for this person trying to kind of measure up. Um, and a lot of times when we're in that energy, we self-sabotage because we're feeling insecure. Um, and that's kind of, you know, maybe where this recognition came from. Maybe you were seeking validation from others, um, kind of like that ego stroking of needing to feel um, loved and needing to feel cared for. Um, because I feel like the other person was maybe, maybe they were spending a lot of time working on themselves and you felt neglected. Um, or vice versa, I mean, whichever resonates. Um, and, you know, because of this, a lot of insecurities were at play. Um, but, you know, with this happening, this has really given you a real opportunity to work through some things that you've needed to work through, like these family issues. All right, we have, I am enough mother, daughter, sister, lover, peacock priestess. And these cards are, um, they are more of a feminine energy, um, which I really was picking up on this feminine energy. And understand we each have feminine and masculine energy. So you could be, you know, a masculine, you know, you can be a man watching this and it could be that feminine part, you know, that, that polarity of you that needed healed or it could be you know the female in your life or you as a female um, that was feeling underappreciated feeling like um, you didn't matter feeling like you were taken for granted um, and possibly even you know this person had someone else and that truth came um, to the surface and you became aware of it and that caused this ending these endings here um, So there's a lot of pain um, But like I said with this card you are enough You are you always have been um, And this particular situation came in to kind of show you your fears and your insecurities and how this person mirrored those back to you so um so that you can work on them and like i said i do feel like there's something around family you know maybe um this was a pattern that you know your family was in and this was something you know with like your parents something that you saw and something that you know you manifest in your own, manifested in your own um connection with this person and that this is not even the first time this has happened and um you know, there's some victim mentality here, you know, like, why does this always happen to me? Well, the reason why this is always happening to you is because you're stuck in this cycle um, that keeps perpetuating itself that you really need to look at. All right, Aries, this was your reading. Um, I thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to have a personal reading, if this did resonate with you, I will include my email address in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.